the holy confluence of the sacred rivers Ganga, Yamuna and the mythical Saraswati makes the soil here one of the most fertile in the world. In the 1960s, when India's development gathered pace and city construction boomed, many small landholders abandoned farming, attracted by the handsome profits offered by local brickmaking companies. Returns from selling the topsoil brought farmers up to 20 times the profit they reaped from farming. But by mid-1980s, the brick industry declined and they left behind smokeless chimneys amidst 4,000 hectares of barren, unproductive lands where only wild grass grew. Amar Singh is one amongst thousands of farmers whose forefathers fell prey to the lure. पुराने लोग थे पैसा मिला दे दिया भट्टे में करीब दो मीटर तक खुदाई हो गई जमीनें खराब हो गई मिट्टी बेजाय पथरीली हो गई The water table fell as low as 40 meters Lack of vegetation caused cyclones and dust storms in Allahabad as the intense summer heat caused violent updrafts sucking up winds blowing down the rivers The damaged property and killed more than 380 people. The land became so unproductive that farmers left the area if they could or lived in poverty if they couldn't. With no livelihood, no food, they were shattered. In the 1990s, the NGO Uttan realized that only a large-scale greening program can bring fertility back to the soil and revive the local economy. INBAR, or the International Network for Bamboo and Rattan, came in with technological and financial support, and bamboo became the choice. The problem was that the soil was sandy. Therefore, only hardy species could survive in such area. Therefore, we picked up bamboo because they add humus, they make the soil acidic and finally they make it highly productive. One significant uh, aspect of soil and the beauty of it is it can be spoiled and also you can bring it back to life. And for that what you need is the right type of plantation. And that is where bamboo played a big role in this project. Starting with the 106 hectare Kotwa Rahimabad watershed, a bamboo nursery was set up. Four hardy species of bamboo were selected, and with mass propagation through innovative techniques, there was enough saplings to distribute to the villagers. But first, people had to be convinced about bamboo's resilience and its ability to mature quickly in poor and shallow soils. And because the residents had nothing to lose, the effort to encourage them was just as easy as planting bamboo. Soon bamboo was planted on the buns around the excavated lands to prevent erosion and provide shelter from wind. The leaf fall from the shoots speeded up the process of bringing back fertility to the soil. In a decade or so, almost like a miracle, the red earth turned green. The first glimpse could be seen in Uttan's nursery. Elsewhere, proud farmers like Farmood Ahmed can't stop praising the savior shoots. <laughs> जो बांस लगाया तो उससे कटाव रुका 
कटाव भी रुका फायदा हुआ पैसा भी हमको मिला फायदा फायदा हुआ ये बंजर जमीन में हमको देख के दूसरे भी जागरूक हुए लगाए उससे फायदा हुआ Uthans nursery provides people with saplings of many revenue producing plants and trees. The surrounding areas are today full of jatropha, guava and papaya trees. Ram Singh's decade long wait seems small when he shows you the green carpet of vegetables and income generating trees. Jawani hum log usme dhan lagane lage abhi gehun bhi hone lage ped bhi lagane lage abhi hari sarson bhi lagane lage More than 600 farmers like Chokhilal are reaping good profits from the aloe vera they've planted amidst the bamboo shoots. Baar lagane ke baad humko aloe vera mila. Isse profit mila hum hum log ka nahi kisan ka. Working with 120 local NGOs, each year Uthan distributes half a million bamboo seedlings and millions more tree, shrub and herb seedlings. Over the years, Uthan has grown its work from a greening program to encompass more integrated community development. More than 40,000 students study in its technology institutes and schools. In sustainability, we have to take care of the poverty alleviation program, the livelihood security program, and at the same time. making those people self sufficient to take care of themselves today uthan has expanded its work to three other states in northern india after 10 years it has rehabilitated over 85000 hectares of land using bamboo as a pioneer crop a smile in the face of the people what you can see is a witness to what bamboo has contributed to their lives fayda hai ki उसको बेच के लड़का बच्चे को पढ़ाते हैं हाँ बात से खुशहाली खुशहाली आई जहाँ कुछ नहीं मिलता तो वहाँ मिल रहा है अच्छा खासा एट द एंड ऑफ द डे बैम्बू प्ले द ग्रीनिंग रोल टू परफेक्शन वालामर सिंह लव द साउंड ऑफ इज ट्रैक्टर प्लाउंग इज फर्टाइल लैंड दैट्स रिजन लाइक अ फिनिक्स फ्रॉम दशेज देर इज स्टिल वन थिंग दैट स्टैंड एज अ रिमाइंडर ये भट्टे की अभी निशानी पड़ी हुई है ये भट्टे की 